Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX and the quest for a fantastic future, written by Ashley Vance. 10 principles you can learn from Elon Musk are outlined in this summary. Introduction. Why should I care? Discover what propelled Elon Musk to the top of success. One of the most well-known and respected businessmen in the world is Elon Musk. He has become well-known, thanks to his achievements in a variety of fields, including electric vehicles and space flight. But what is it about Elon Musk that makes him so unique? This synopsis reveals his passions and interests, the factors that shaped him into the person he is now. They describe Musk's particular passion, which is a desire to prevent the extinction of humanity. His pursuit of solar energy, electric vehicles, and space travel was motivated by this objective, which ultimately contributed to his extraordinary success. This overview will teach you. Why did Musk marry, then divorce, then remarry, and finally divorce his second wife? Elon Musk's Mars mission and his strategy for making electric automobiles appealing, as well as how fornicating mice inspired him. Principle 1, Elon Musk's motivation is to save humanity. It's difficult to succeed in the sustainable technology sector. Most people who attempt fail. And yet Elon Musk, the creator of Solar City and Tesla Motors, has achieved success not just once, but twice. How did he accomplish it? It all comes down to his worldview. Musk is not your typical Silicon Valley entrepreneur driven by greed for cash. He has a special kind of universal empathy. Musk is motivated by a single goal, to preserve the human race by transferring it to Mars. Musk has a genuine concern for all of humanity. Elon Musk believes that the Earth is no longer a viable home due to its vulnerability to asteroids and diminishing resources. He is always thinking about this issue, which has given him an unwavering drive to complete his tasks. Naturally, this doesn't always show up well. Musk has a reputation for giving his employees tremendous workloads, unattainable targets, and verbal abuse. Musk even chastised a worker for choosing to be there at his child's birth rather than a company event. Musk pushed him to think about what his genuine priorities were. According to Musk, you may either fully commit to changing the course of human history or not at all. Whether you love him or hate him, Musk is valued by the workforce for his sense of purpose. They are conscious of its success. He is also not a hypocrite. Musk's arduous weekly regimen makes his sense of purpose very clear. He starts work at SpaceX in Los Angeles on Monday and stays there through Tuesday night. Then he takes a plane to Silicon Valley, where he works at Tesla on Wednesdays and Thursdays. After that, an aircraft will take you back to Los Angeles. Someone could not possibly commit to such a lifestyle if they did not have faith in what they were doing. Principle 2. Musk's unpleasant upbringing influenced his creative and aspirational nature. Elon Musk is one of the most prosperous business people in contemporary civilization because he has a distinct and compelling sense of purpose. But how did he come to view the world and himself in this manner? Well, it all began with a challenging childhood in South Africa. Elon Musk's relationship with his father, Errol, was strained when he was a small boy and all but friendless. Nevertheless, Musk decided to move in with his father when his parents were divorced in order to provide him some much-needed company. But he struggled to live with his father. In addition to the strife at home, Musk experienced frequent bullying from peers. Once, he was given a beating so severe that he was unable to go to school for a week. Musk dived into literature and research to get away from this. Musk has a remarkable photographic memory and could read two encyclopedias and retain every detail. One book that had a significant impact on Musk was The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which made him realize that while answering a question is simple, asking the proper one is far more difficult. Musk was already considering issues that might advance and advance human civilization at this early level. He had strong beliefs about solar power, colonizing other planets, paperless banking, and space rockets by the time he started high school. In addition, he was developing entrepreneurial awareness. At the age of 12, he sold Blastar, a video game he had made, for $500. Principle 3. Musk's self-assurance and tenacity grew over his undergraduate years to even greater heights. Elon Musk made the decision not to serve in the South African military in 1988. He then departed the nation. Musk first moved to Canada even though he had always wanted to live in the US. His first year was challenging because he bounced around between relatives and odd jobs. He then attended at Queen's University, where his character clearly developed as his self-confidence grew. In college, Musk was more ambitious than in high school. He participated in public speaking competitions, pursued a business degree, and even managed to court Justine Wilson, the woman of his dreams who went on to become his first wife and the mother of his six sons.
They engaged in a competitive and romantic courtship. Wilson was first uninterested in Elon Musk. He, however, would not accept no as an answer. He learned where she was attending school and inquired about her favorite ice cream from one of her friends after being turned down for their first date at an ice cream shop. He then arrived with two chocolate chip ice creams in hand. Success through perseverance became Musk's guiding philosophy in all facets of his life. He stayed at Queens for two years before transferring to the University of Pennsylvania, where he thrived. Musk acquired acquaintances who proved essential, both personally and financially, as he became more at ease with his fellow physics students. With $5 entrance and Musk being sober the entire time, they threw house parties in a 14-bedroom property they had hired. Musk made a sizable profit from these events. I even earned enough one night to cover a month's rent. Principle 4. Musk became a dot-com, Silicon Valley millionaire, thanks to his first startup. Musk founded his first business right after graduating from college and was anxious to join the dot-com boom. He and his brother established Global Link Information Network, subsequently known as Zip2, in 1995. Their goal was to assist firms that had no prior internet experience in going online. Few small businesses were aware of the effects of the internet, they had no idea how to use it and didn't see the need to advertise their company online or maintain a website. At initially, things were difficult. Despite their best efforts, Musk and his brother were unable to sell. They were rejected a lot, and the nicest ones called the internet the worst thing they'd ever heard of. Things started to change when Musk's passion and determination convinced the venture capital company More Davido Ventures to invest in the startup. Musk was demoted, and Rich Sorkin was appointed CEO. As the money began to flow, they also employed better engineers who altered and condensed a lot of the lengthy coding. Elon felt annoyed by this. He was a self-taught programmer after all. On the other hand, More Davido provided a more sophisticated framework and stated more practical objectives. When Musk claimed a task should be finished in an hour, Jim Ombris, the vice president of engineering at Zip2, realized it would actually take a day or two. When Musk claimed something would be finished in a day, it took a week or two to finish. Finally, in February 1999, computer manufacturer Compaq Computer made an offer to purchase Zip2 for $307 million. Musk, though, was already considering new ventures and never gave the idea of staying at Compaq any thought. He aspired to succeed as a CEO. Principle 5, Musk made millions even though he lost the battle over PayPal. With his newfound wealth, Musk became a member of the elite group. He purchased a McLaren sports car, a condo, and a small prop plane using the money he received from Compaq. But the balance of his money was invested immediately in X.com, his next venture. People were hesitant to give bank account information back then, let alone buy books online. But by working with Barclays, Musk was able to launch X.com as one of the first online banks in the world, backed by FDIC insurance and offering investors a choice of three mutual funds. Although everything was going well, there was soon some serious competition. Before founding Confinity and developing the first iteration of PayPal, Max Levchin and Peter Thiel were working on their own payment system. After a brief conflict, the businesses decided to merge in March 2000. Confinity had the more desirable product, PayPal, and X.com had the resources and the best banking services, thus the combination made sense. But Musk was going to be ignored once more within his own organization. Two months after the merger, Thiel and Levchin both announced their resignations, and Musk was left in leadership of a split corporation. Musk persevered in promoting the X.com brand despite the fact that the majority of his co-workers preferred PayPal. The website was also frequently down due to computer system failures. Then, as Musk and his wife Justine boarded a plane for their long overdue honeymoon, the company's management went before the board of directors and requested that Thiel return as CEO and demote Musk. This was one of the meanest coups in Silicon Valley history. Musk was retained as an advisor after the coup was successful. After changing its name from X.com to PayPal, the business was eventually acquired by eBay for $1.5 billion in July 2002. Musk made $250 million, which was enough to fund his most ambitious plans. Principle 6. Musk's perseverance took him to a new frontier, the space business. In 2001, Musk chose to leave the rat race after turning 30. His family moved to Los Angeles, just a short distance from the center of the space industry. Musk had long been eager to work in the space industry. The Mars Society was working on a scheme to send fornicating mice into orbit to see if it was possible to establish life on Mars. Musk thought the strategy was sound, 
the only thing that could be done better, in his opinion, was to send the mice directly to Mars. The proposal was ultimately abandoned, but that didn't stop Musk from starting a business in the space sector. He made the decision to make his debut by investigating how one may build less expensive rockets. In order to turn space exploration technologies, SpaceX, become the Southwest Airlines of space, the company was created in June 2002. Falcon 1 would transport a 1,400-pound payload for $6.9 million at a time when delivering a 500-pound payload cost as much as $30 million. Musk's demands were unreasonable, which is perhaps not a surprise. His initial schedule anticipated finishing the first engine by May 2003, the second engine by June, the rocket's body by July, and the final assembly by September. Only 15 months after the company's founding, the initial launch was scheduled for November. Unsurprisingly, it took SpaceX nearly four years to launch a rocket successfully. Although Musk dislikes the lack of a defined course of action, he is aware that failure is a necessary part of the process and that not everything works out the first time. The majority of launches actually fail. He was aware that 9 out of every 20 Atlas launches had been unsuccessful, making failure the rule. But he was determined to use his abilities to make sure that SpaceX succeeded in the end, come what may. But his zeal and determination were truly inspiring. SpaceX made history by being the first commercial corporation to launch the Dragon spacecraft and return it to Earth safely following an ocean touchdown. We'll learn more about the company's extraordinary growth in a later summary. Principle 7. Tesla Motors gave the electric vehicle a future under Musk. In the past, electric vehicles were thought to be uncool and couldn't compete with high-performance names like Jaguar and Ferrari. But you'll notice that things are altering if you've seen any of the new Formula E vehicles. Elon Musk was the one person who worked the hardest to make electric automobiles fashionable and appealing. Musk contributed to the world's realization of the fascinating and constantly evolving nature of electric vehicle technology. J.B. Strawbell was working on electric automobiles with lithium-ion batteries when, unbeknownst to him, Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpenning began working on the same project. Tesla Motors was started on July 1, 2003 by Eberhardt, Tarpenning, and Strawbell. The plan was to use the Lotus Elise chassis for the body of the car and license the technology that AC Propulsion created to power the Zero, a fully electric vehicle that speeds quicker than a Ferrari. Venture capitalists, however, chose not to invest because they couldn't look past the Zero's cheap plastic finish. But Musk opted to put in $6.5 million, making him the only stakeholder and chairman. He believed that the initiative may revolutionize electric cars, making them well-liked and effective while also reducing pollution. Tesla succeeded despite having a sluggish and uneventful start. Tesla's Model S vehicle revolutionized transportation in the middle of 2012. It has been called a computer with wheels since it has constant internet access and a sensor that enables the driver to start the engine without pressing any buttons. Motor Trend named it the Automobile of the Year in November 2012, while Consumer Reports later rated it with the highest score ever, 99 100s, saying it was likely the best vehicle ever created. Since the founding of Chrysler in 1925, America had not experienced the success of a single automaker. Given Musk's lack of automotive manufacturing experience and Silicon Valley's limited involvement in the sector, this accomplishment is quite remarkable. But when we take into account Musk's tenacity, this result may not come as a huge surprise after all. Principle 8. Musk's businesses, which include SolarCity and Tesla, are cohesive. The three businesses that Musk is simultaneously running are SpaceX, Tesla, and SolarCity. This is because they all ultimately assist him in achieving his true and overarching objective, which is the survival of the human race. Prior to founding SpaceX, Musk had long desired to venture into the solar industry but had not believed there was any financial reward. Musk therefore proposed solar when his relatives, the Rye brothers, were discussing starting a new business. Before coming up with their concept, the brothers researched the solar power sector for two years. The expense and difficulty of installation were enough to turn away many customers, despite the fact that solar panels were gradually becoming more affordable. The Rye brothers made the decision to provide customers with what they actually desired, namely a person to handle the entire process, from selection to purchase to installation. Musk became its chairman and major shareholder after assisting his cousins in developing the structure. Six years later, Solar City has exceeded its goal of making solar panel installation simple by growing to be the largest installer in the US. It now serves corporations like Walmart and Intel in addition to individual consumers, and in 2014, its estimated value was close to $7 billion. While each of Musk's enterprises is successful on its own, 
they also strategically support one another. Solar City sells battery packs made by Tesla to end users, and Solar City provides the solar panels for Tesla's charging stations. This is because, despite Musk's passion for automobiles, solar energy, and batteries, all of these endeavors are merely side jobs for him. His main objective is still to make sure that people begin living sustainably right away so that they have a future. In this way, a single, lofty objective unites all of his endeavors. Principle 9. With his Hyperloop project and other initiatives, Musk hopes to significantly disrupt the solar, automobile, and aerospace industries. Musk has always had big ideas, so big that others frequently think they're a little unrealistic. More of these plans, including the Hyperloop and other advancements at Tesla and SpaceX, were revealed by him in August 2013. A novel means of transportation for relatively short distances is the Hyperloop. It is a huge pneumatic tube, similar to those used to move mail between offices, except in this instance, it is being utilized to transport vehicles and people in pods. Though similar concepts have been put out in the past, Musk's are unique. His system operates at low pressure, and the pods float on an airbed. An electromagnetic pulse propels each pod forward, and when necessary, motors located throughout the tube provide the pods with an additional power boost. At 800 miles per hour, these solar-powered devices could keep pods moving. At that pace, it would take 30 minutes to travel from Los Angeles to San Francisco. But Musk has different ideas for both Tesla and SpaceX. Launching the SUV Model X will be Tesla's main priority in 2015. The eagerly awaited Model 3 is then scheduled to debut in 2017. Instead of over $100,000, the price of a regular Model S, this car will only cost $35,000. Musk also revealed plans to construct the largest lithium-ion battery manufacturing facility in the world, the Gigafactory, in 2014. This would boost the quantity of batteries that are readily available in the market, which is a vital component of the plan to make Tesla cars capable of being driven for long distances even when they are not near a charging station. SpaceX will soon start testing its capability to launch astronauts into space. By 2016, SpaceX hopes to conduct a human test mission, and the following year, it hopes to transport NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. One of the most lucrative sectors of the business, satellite manufacturing and sales, is another direction SpaceX is likely to take. Rumor has it that Musk fantasizes about maybe being the first person to walk on Mars. Principle 10. With success comes struggle in Musk's personal life. We've learned from this overview that Musk isn't always a pleasant person to be around. His marriages themselves serve as evidence of this. Musk has been married three times, twice to the same woman, and he is passionate and impetuous. His first union was intense. He wasn't always a sympathetic husband, either, Justine remembers the exasperated time she had to remind him that she was his wife, not his employee. Musk responded by saying that he would have dismissed her if she had been one of his employees. In June 2008, Justine claims Musk gave her a choice, either they would work on their marriage that day or he would file for divorce the next morning. Musk impulsively moved on and filed for divorce the day after Justine requested another week to think about it. Nevertheless, Musk experienced emotional distress after the divorce, and his buddy Bill Lee made an effort to cheer him up by taking him to London. There, Musk met Tallulah Riley, an actress who would later become his second wife, when she was 22 years old. In 2012, he filed for divorce from Riley, saying that while he would always love her, he wasn't in love with her anymore. After the divorce was finalized, they got back together because he found it tough to date while still keeping up with his incredibly busy schedule. According to his estimations, a woman needs at least 10 hours every week, they got a second divorce in late 2014. Many people believe that Musk can be tough to the point of being cruel and arbitrary. Some even claim that he is utterly devoid of empathy, citing the firing of Mary Beth Brown, his most devoted aide, as proof. She has long served as Musk's only agent, practically taking care of all of his needs. However, he urged her to take two weeks off and that he would take on her work to determine whether the proposal had merit when she wanted to be paid equally with other SpaceX executives. He informed her that he was no longer in need of her when she returned. Nevertheless, many who know Musk best claim that despite these flaws, at his core, he is a kind and loving guy. Riley further asserts that despite having a demanding schedule, he always made an effort to be home in time for supper with his family and computer games with his kids. Final Thoughts this book's main takeaway is. Elon Musk is a remarkable human being. He never accepts no as an answer since he is ambitious, passionate, and motivated. 
In addition to having a big ego and a challenging personality, he has a genuine concern for the future of humanity. Regardless of what some may think of him, Elon Musk has advanced sustainable technology to astoundingly high levels, and he will continue to do so as a prominent figure in the solar, aerospace, and automotive industries. If you found this summary to be useful and would want to purchase a copy, click the link in the description box to go to Amazon.com. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share with your relatives and friends after viewing.